Well, now another on your side investigation. Owners of a roofing company based in Jacksonville are in jail for fraud. Investigators say they scam more than 50 customers out of more than $450,000. On your side, Jessica Clark reports on the company and she has advised about what to look for if you need to hire a roofer. Brothers John and Adolph Carlson wore jail jumpsuits as they stood together before a judge Wednesday afternoon in Duval County. They own Carlson Enterprises, which had an office in Jacksonville off of Bowden Road. The building is now empty and the designated parking spaces are too. Florida's Attorney General Ashley Moody announced Wednesday the arrest of the Carlson brothers for scheming to defraud. My house is collapsing. The Attorney General says hundreds of Floridians paid deposits for roof work that was not done or for work that was done and paid to Carlson Enterprises but was not paid to subcontractors. And documents show that resulted in liens filed against the homeowners. Most of the customers in this case were from Flagler and Volusia counties. There is one customer from here in St. John's County, but investigators think there could be more victims out there. There could possibly even be more suspects. If you know of anyone, a loved one that's been taken advantage of, has been scammed in Florida, um, that day is over. Many of the roofs had been damaged by hurricanes, and there are poor reviews online about Carlson Enterprises. Before you're hearing about contractors getting in trouble, is the, the contractors, uh, we refer to them commonly in the industry as storm chasers. James Supley not, owns a FIDUS Roofing and Construction based in St. Augustine, not associated with Carlson Enterprises at all. When he hears about cases like this, he has advice for people who are looking for a roofer. For one, don't give a deposit. Even a good contractor that maybe is, um, is collecting a deposit as a norm, if you push back on it, a good contractor is going to say, I don't need a deposit. Secondly, he says, don't do business with someone knocking on doors. If you didn't call them, don't do business with them. Good quality contractors don't need to go knocking on doors to get business. Also, Supley says, don't sign something that hands over your insurance money to the roofer. The roofing contractor now owns the insurance claim. They're, for that point on, they're doing business directly with the insurance company. Here are the numbers in the Carlson case. Allegedly, 43 people paid deposits in excess of $300,000, and 15 were slapped with liens against their homes for more than $150,000, totaling more than $450,000. I don't understand why people can't run a responsible business. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.